So, so there, so there's a new movie out that I haven't seen yet called Now You See Me Two. <laughs> it's a sequel to a movie called Now You See Me. Correct. <laughs> well, okay, let's go there first then, which is, by the way, your title. The whole point of it is that it's the first part of a two-part thing. <laughs> I guarantee you nobody that wrote that movie, let alone that title, thought they were ever going to be doing a sequel. <laughs> I, 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 can you imagine the guy coming and going, knock, knock. Uh, so apparently there's no sarcasm checkbox on uh, Apple TV and your movie's a hit? <laughs> so now they want a second one? And there's like nine people because how, how could that movie be written by fewer people? <laughs> Have you seen that fucking movie? I'm not angry. I'm excited. I, I, I just watched it with Cody. I was so excited that she hadn't seen it. I was walking in Canada. Think about it. And, and I walked by a movie theater, and the, on the marquee, I saw the words, Now You See Me two they were the number two and my i swear to god i'm not being david spade about this my <laughs> my actual fucking first instinct was oh that explains so much about that movie it's canadian <laughs> and they show it here still every day and the next showing is at two <laughs> I swear to Christ above that was what I thought because I expected that th th a sequel to that movie was that impossible. Yeah, yeah. Both in terms of demand and supply. That movie, just so, do you, I don't care who wants a sequel. If I made that movie and people wanted a sequel, I would have some explaining to do. The first thing I would explain is I didn't know what I was doing. And I would say, look, can we start over? I have all kinds of ideas. They told me magicians were cool. I just got here. I'm talented. I, you saw what I did. Just let me write a different movie. I don't want to... I would call it Now You Don't! It would be called Now You Don't! In an honest world! This movie was built on dishonesty about dishonesty. Not Magicians never cool. Magicians, when they are cool, in the, in, the, in, the, in the context in which you can trick people into thinking they're cool, and it's always a trick to think that they're cool. They're just the, the fucking. You go down there, and it's still like like I forgot what I was. There, it's a it's a, a watch now. You see me one, <laughs> which I rewatched last night. And I think, I honestly think, knock it off. Uh, this movie, uh, holy fuck, man. How many people have seen Now You See Me 1? All right, Respectable. Well, well, now that you know it doesn't matter what your vote does, <laughs> now that you know Trump's elected in the Now You See Me franchise and you're, it's just like you watching Now You See Me 1 won't, isn't accountable, watch it. I made the mistake of being one of the dollars that apparently funded the sequel. I, I didn't mean to do that. I, like, they need a checkbox that says, I'm kidding! And it would, I don't know, it's like, no, your money's green, we're gonna make a sequel. Well, go ahead, but know that it's a kidding movie. Well, we, we were kidding That'd when we nice. watched the first one. We were kidding! Yeah, like if you could give someone a page view, or you don't give someone a page view, but you're checking out like a clickbait thing, that'd be great. You know, the best of both worlds. Yeah, just say your intention. So have you seen the trailer for this new uh, Now You've Done no, It? No, no, I won't. It? Now You've Done It. That they, would be a great... It's, now you see, what, if, what if they did a sequel and the sequel was... They were like, okay, what is it? Now You To Me? Now You now you See Me Too? Now You Don't? What is it going to be? But it was just like, they were like, Now You Pee. <laughs> And that, that, that was it. It was like Clo Cloverfield Lane. Like They were just like, it's not a sequel. It's just a fucking... Now You Pee. It's from the it's from the Now You series. You don't think we know how to make movies? Fucking step off. It's let the let the people in. They're trying to get in to see a good movie, motherfucker. You fucking jaded piece of shit. Fucking now, now you is in session. 
Now, now you, now you surf against a shark monster. Hey, hey, hey did you see the uh, most recent Now You movie? Oh, you uh, now you uh, yeah I no I fucking love now you see me uh, 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 one yeah I love now you diamond heist. <laughs> Did you see not now now you reunion? A uh, 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 wish upon a star. Yeah, I was sweet. Yo, no, it was sweet. I loved. Oh, now you didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lawsuit pending. Like those people actually don't represent uh, the now you franchise. No, but I mean that. And trailer, they're playing the race card, and it's not cool. The trailer's problematic though, because like you have, you know, it's a wizard movie about all these wizards and sorcerers, you know, and they're like, you know, you got Mark Zuckerberg, and he like conjures a storm of cards, and then you have like I don't know Morgan Freeman, and he like. P- picks a card and puts it through a guy's skull and stuff and then you got a guy who disappears and reappears inside of a bank fall and then you got Lizzie Kaplan who takes her bra off without taking off her top. That's the first one too! Isla Fisher plays it. They go, I go like, uh, Cody, you're gonna be you're gonna be introduced to the five types of magician now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from the Chris Angel type played by Jesse Eisenberg to the Spoon bending, pickpocket, car chasing type played by one of the Francos. Uh, then Woody Harrelson is a, he's a mentalist, and that is up by Isla Fisher. She's introduced her, go like, and here comes the lady magician. And the writers were like, fuck, uh, like David Copperfield, like he's a guy. She's a lady magician, but she's awesome. <sighs> a lady magician, I just I. <laughs> Oftentimes, a lady is a magician's assistant. Tom? <laughs> Giant Tom? <laughs> Are you sitting in the corner, like, 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 like talking in a slightly urban patois? <laughs> That's right. Just watching y'all try to figure out this story. Seems to me magicians come with femininity. It's just compartmentalized in the form of their subjectifiable, objectifiable assistant. <laughs> Tom, he's right. Isla Fisher should play a new kind of magician. She used to be Zuckerberg's assistant. Now she takes off her clothes. <laughs> Before dropping into a tank of water. She's like a super assistant. All right. Anyway, that's not my beef with that. I'm not a, I'm not white knighting. I don't, it's, a, it's an insane movie. I, you should watch this movie. Now you watch it. Now, now you fucking, like, have your mind blown. Uh, I shouldn't have. I spent too much time talking about it. Hey. <laughs> Magicians have sexy ladies around them sometimes. I know, Tom. Maybe Isla Fisher's character is an escape artist. Tom, we've been over this. Hold it. Before the escape, she takes off her clothes. Tom, Tom you're a genius. Classic, classic character. This is the, uh, this is the musical score uh, for uh, Now You See Me 1. I haven't seen 2. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. For an hour, <laughs> and I'm and, and, and I'm I'm saying this. I'm telling you this. I'm saying watch it. I'm telling you to watch it. I'm not telling you don't watch it. I'm telling you you got to see this movie. Also, when they when they introduced the magicians, I mean, you, you said that you know the woman was just sexual or whatever, but there was a decrease in like. The, ex- the the level of magic like yeah. from the beginning like first it was uh what's his name um uh, uh, J- J- Jesse Eisenberg Jesse, yeah he was amazing then it got steadily worse and worse well, by by amazing you mean he said pick a card and then the card was on a skyscraper you're talking about now you oh, see yeah. me one. I have the story yeah, it's memorized. On the skyscraper. I guess that wasn't that. Great. And then they go around, and then and then and then I don't want to get a beef with the Francos. I've been adamant right. about this, but yeah. one of the Francos <laughs> is in it, and he's on a boat, and this is one of the classic yeah. archetypes of magician. If you're going to get a he super group of magicians together, pocket. he's just he's he goes like I'm going to bend a spoon, and then someone's like you didn't bend the spoon, and then he's like I guess I didn't. And then he I runs. got your wallet, but uh, and then yeah. uh, it, it, it's like so a pickpocket is one of the magician types. Yeah, it was a but nightmare. then later he'll turn out to be. A uh, a car racer, um, and a, and a mimic, 
<laughs> I know that's not a spoiler. Watch now. You see me one. It features one of the Francos. Yeah. Uh, he does. <laughs> he does sleight of hand foo to make Ruffalo like uh, restrained, and then and then and then Ruffalo goes like, "What are you doing?" And 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 he goes, "What are you doing?" And he goes like, "What's your what's your end game? What's your end game?" And they he takes the walkie talkie, and Ruffalo is like, "No!" And he's like. Go to aisle seven, but it's like it's 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 Ruffalo's voice coming out of Franco's mouth because he's a predator now because he's a magician. It's one of the four types of magician. The other one is a assistant that uh, is naked. Uh, it, it's it, 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 the, the sequel is not called Now You Don't. It can't by law. It cannot be. That would be called. That would be technically be a different movie. Is it Then You Saw Me? <laughs> That's the prequel, isn't it? That's the that's, that's when they reboot it. That's when you'll see me. <laughs> we'll be seeing each other soon, but for tonight, Paris. Um, they're all. Actually, I don't recommend it, honestly. You know, double do. deep breasts. That's you know, that's the best. I Have, hate are mine. you familiar with the itty bitty chitty committee? I am. They're an offshoot of the Bilderberg Group. <laughs> and it's said that they run the Eye of Horus, which is a, a plot of Now You See Me 1. And they, <laughs> at, at the end of that movie, they, they go into a glowing Why carousel. I don't care. God is spoiled by this movie. And you will st- it's like I'm telling you, the good guys evaporate into a magical mist. And now they're going to do a second one. I don't know. Are they going to be like, whoa. We're trans-dimensional magician robbers. Uh, oh, help, help, my cart broke down. Uh, anyways, the, uh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Now you don't is what it should be called, yeah. but you can't call it that. I think that when the first one came out, everyone was like, now you see me. <laughs> no, I didn't. So then, like, they couldn't they couldn't go that way if they wanted to, because that joke was already there on doing. Well, flying in the face of the theory that shame would stop them from doing anything is every frame of the movie you're describing. 